Gregor Otero here with the Prometheus Initiative, and I finally have made my first rotating coil in the way a rotating coil is supposed to be made. Here it is. Look at this beautiful piece of technology. So, let me explain it. Alright? I said I was going to double up the circuit, but in terms of the inner windings, there wasn't enough room. I made a slight miscalculation on the size. Not a problem. So, there are three circuits. Two circuits I wound, the third one would be water or air depending on how you use it. Um, and each circuit um, has 12 points, so technically there's 36 points in total. Um, or 24 in terms of the aluminum wire. And what was nice about making this little guy, because it's all hot glue, is while I was winding it I used a soldering iron to heat up the wire to melt it slightly into the glue so it's nice and pressed into itself. Um, I got four wires going off here which can be used for a traditional electric motor um, to run current through both of them in the same direction or opposing direction as they both shouldn't have interesting features. Um, or in my case if I want to use a capacitor, I'm probably going to snip off the, one of these little guys and you charge up the uh, one wire negatively charged while well, the other one will become positively charged and uh, the wire would be used as dielectric. The only thing is it's spaced a good amount apart and I really think if you want this to work more effectively um, you would want to replicate the the circuits in terms of fractalize it using it, its doubling circuit and 36, 36 points is a uh, octave of light, oct the octave of light being 144 so that would be 72 would be doubled, and from there, 144. And um, if you use a thinner wire, this is 17 gauge aluminum wire. It's electric fence wire I'm using. It's the only thing I could really find for aluminum wire. I did a lot of work on the internet trying to find just pure, close thing to pure aluminum wire, electric fence, and 17 gauge was the biggest I could get. And so if you had thinner wire, you could wrap it um, a bunch more times. And unlike the traditional run coils, people layer it next to each other. Um, I really don't like that concept, however, I think this whole thing would work with a lot of voltage. Um, at least 10,000, if not a lot more, and that the capacitance wouldn't matter, and that the voltage is so high that the dielectric medium being water would be affected. The other thing is a lot of the other different type of ideas I can do with this is what I hopefully people can throw out. What can I do with this coil? Um, a really cool thing is being glue is a hydrocarbon, it floats on the wire like I showed you before. With the aluminum wire and the quartz five quartz crystals in it, which is definitely both heavier than wire or water, uh, makes this thing pretty much the exact same density as water. Really, really cool. It basically floats like lifeless in the water. Um, so it's very little friction in it. I feel like I'm just gonna hook this up and throw it into some water and uh, see what happens. Um, see if I can just get the diamagnetic properties to get this thing to possibly rotate. I don't think I have enough juice. I have a Rife Machine frequency generator. I can output a max of 65 volts with very little amps. And uh, nice thing is I can plug in any type of frequency I want. I could hook you up to this audio system and pump out much more wide. I'm not sure how much Tango would like it. I started playing with this audio system, but 1,000 watts, it's mostly amps though, versus voltage, I really want voltage. And the uh, nice thing about being also in the water is the water is going to cool the aluminum wire, so you can pump a lot of electricity in it, a lot. Um, and But the real idea is trying to get energy out of it. How do I get electricity out of this thing? Well, at the moment, this thing is also a really good antenna, in my opinion. Um, it's just this natural fluctuation toroid and uh, I mean even my hand it has, it has a very soothing energy as I started, I think I would mentioned that before I had quartz crystals in it and the uh, question is basically what can I do with it is, is the really big thing I, I really wish I had transformer to pump like 100,000 volts into this and then stick it in the distilled water right here this big thing of distilled water and uh, I have a feeling this thing would definitely rotate. And the cool concept is 
if you have a wire geometry going down into this, so it would be like a cone, um, so boom, so you have a cone going down into it, you almost visualize it, pyramid. You also do this with a pyramid in terms of wire geometry too. So you got a pyramid, this is a calcium, or a plasma of Paris pyramid I made that I wrapped in tinfoil for an idea, I was trying with something. And, but say this is a cone, okay, so it helps you visualize the, um, how wire touching each one of these, or wire going down spiraling, in terms of a phi cone, the phi ratio, down this touching it, the, the positive terminals, and then same cone on the bottom, negative terminals. So you're actually replicating this other type of geometry. The cool thing is if you get the charge and it starts spinning in the water, the cool thing then is if you have a magnet, um, one shape like a cone, or should I probably do a pyramid, and you put it inside this this c wire cone, it's an aluminum wire cone, um, it could keep current flowing through it. How much voltage you would put into it, I'm not sure. You really want to keep high voltage. Um, but I feel like, I really feel like there's an easier way to get electricity out of this. So I'm trying to think about it, really theorizing on it, and I think I'm going to put on some mantra music tonight and meditate on it and see what comes to me. However, I really like some people send some ideas out to me. There's uh, someone on Project Avalon called The Tech Guy who's sending out some really cool ideas. Our Project Avalon is just like falling apart now. It's just completely falling apart in my opinion. Some people think it's going great, but I think it's falling apart. We started Project Avalon 2 and uh, yeah, it's a closed door form basically and I don't know. I'm a free speech guy. Hmm. You know, I'm doing an open source project. This needs to be out in the open for anyone, everyone to talk about. And not many two people talking about it. But hey, there's a couple of you guys out there. Clarity of awareness, I like ya. And uh, hopefully we can get uh, some collaboration. Adios.